Dear Father, Mother God, we thank you for allowing us to be channels of light, love, and healing. We ask that all energies that flow through Tyler and myself be grounded in Mother Earth, for she, in fact, is the living healer. We call on our guides and our angels now to speak through us. Thank you, Mother, Father, God, all that is. All that is. Hi, Tyler. Hi, good morning. Good. Yeah, is it still morning? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's like that you, the time after and during the holidays, you know, when everything shifts and you forget which day it is. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> we got Martin Luther King weekend coming up. Yep. I don't know if you remembered that. I didn't, but Robert. Nope. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but anyway, uh, so here we are. And, you know, interesting, you wanted to talk about skulls today. Uh, these are my two favorite skulls right here. Um, Jamie, Jamie's done a video. She's actually aura photographed the crystal skulls. Yep. Some of them. Yes. Right. And so she she told you, watch my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe we'll feature her video. But anyway, um, so tell us about this. So it's kind of interesting. I never, and you know, it's interesting too, is the people that have those crystal skulls they come into Sedona every few years yeah, and they, they do. they've come in here they came in here last year and they brought the skull in and so it was really interesting because I didn't know too much about them I just knew like you know tip of the iceberg type stuff yeah. um, and, and I just knew that they were supposed to be very um, powerful and very old and, and nobody really knows how they were carved or where they come from um, and and I, then all of a sudden, within the last few months, I've been getting a lot of people coming in and asking about crystal skulls and asking if we have any and talking about them more and more. So I started doing a little bit more research because when I don't know something, I like to, to know a little bit more. And then come to find out, you know, like there's 13 crystal skulls that, that predate what we know right now from an ancient civilization. Some people think it's there from Atlantis. Some people think Mayan, Aztec. Um, but the Native American legend says that when all when humanity hits a certain point of consciousness or development um, More skulls will be revealed and during that time and when all 13 skulls come together We will go into a new age or a new era um, And which is kind of interesting um, because I, I the more I'm learning about crystal skulls I can see the fascination towards it. Um, it does, you know expand and open these psychic abilities They're supposed to be supernatural um, and expand any kind of supernatural or paranormal activity. Um, and, and you know, it, it's really fascinating because I can see that in today's world. I can see that the consciousness of today, more and more people are rising in their consciousness and becoming open to these beliefs. I get people in every single day asking that never even heard about any of this and are opening up their mind to new ideas and new thoughts. And so I think it's quite amazing that, that we're getting a lot of people interested in this, especially years past we haven't had anybody. You know, so I, I edit the astrology every week, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so this week it was going, it, it, nothing was really happening until the 19th and 20th, you know, and, and, but it, and in every sign it says you're going to start a new, you're starting a new 20 year cycle, hmm. a new 20 year cycle of higher consciousness. You know, and I thought, wow, it's going to take 20 years, <laughs> yeah. you know, but, but I guess it will take 20 years before we get to this really heightened, you know, consciousness. But every sign it was saying, you're going to experience a new, a uh, 20 year cycle of consciousness. How so, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So it's interesting how everything like coincides, you yep. know, you know, like I'm going, going through some, we're going through some stuff here at the center. Um, we're in a very old building. Yeah. And 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 um but it's charming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's on the creek, but it ha it, it does have its uh, moments of, you know, having to fix this and yeah. fix that, and fix this, <laughs> you know. And and anyway, so uh but the the reason that we're here 30 years ago spirit sent me here. I had no idea. I used to pass this. These were apartments. I used mm -hmm. to pass here every day, and, and not knowing, you know, anything, and and you know, and then just one night, spirit woke me up in the middle of the night and said, "Do this," and I'm like, "What?" You know, 
and then here we are 30 years later yeah you know and so um and still going strong yep right you know uh people have been coming here for all those years yeah you know and it's not us that draws them here it's the energy yep you know and back then Sedona was kind of redneck and it wasn't <laughs> yeah you know people it wasn't about the the uh spiritual movement yeah. the chamber of commerce wanted to say we were a artist community yes you know and they didn't really <laughs> want to go there with the spiritual stuff but but you can't ignore it yep you can't ignore it because it's here it's all around us yeah you know and it just keeps intensifying yes so so you have an amazing collection of skulls here and these are my favorite of course <laughs> this is this is the blue onyx the blue onyx and and this one this is a um cobra? it's a snake a cobra, cobra. Yes. thank you thank you Robert. and uh and cobra has a really big significance in the spiritual world and in the egyptian world too yeah 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 but anyway um tell us a little more about skulls so um pretty much the more that i'm reading the more that i see um a common link um, pretty much crystal schools emit this energy that raises your consciousness and, and goes to another level, um, especially with spiritual development. Um, you know, and I also believe personally, the more that I'm looking at these schools, I almost feel like I'm getting downloads of thoughts. Like I, I, it's opening up my channeling ability. Um, it's really opening up my, my mind into new thoughts and new ideas. Um, and so, it, and it's interesting that you said 20 year cycle because I'm thinking 20 years ago, you know, what was the world like, especially when viewing spiritual beliefs, you know, and how much it's changed in those last 20 years. And especially this year, you know, just, just within the last few weeks, all these people coming in and asking about crystal schools. It, I mean, there, there, there is yeah. no coincidences in my, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's all spirit. It's all the universe. It's all God, whatever anybody wants to call it, you know, and, and I believe that right now it's good. You know, it's really good because I think that the, the, the consciousness of the entire world and everybody in it is rising. And I think that some people can't meet that sometimes. And so I think that these are helping people meet that consciousness and, and allowing them to rise in consciousness without any resistance. So let, let's say, so let's say I had a crystal skull, mm -hmm. okay, which I don't. I mean, I have a lot of them here, but I don't have any at my house. Yeah. But, but let's say I had a crystal skull. And is, is this going to help me to... It, it is. So it's it's going to spark something yep. that's going to help me open up to that new consciousness. Yes. Yeah. Whether you whether you hold it or you just have it in your 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 field, in your house, in your office, in your meditation room, wherever you sit and spend time, right next to your bed is kind of is is a really great place. I wouldn't put a school next to my bed personally, but I would put them like where I have coffee in the morning. You know, and so I, I'm really liking what I'm reading about, especially because the, these crystals affect an area and you don't necessarily need to have it on you all the time. But the more time that you spend around them, the more time that they are affecting us. And so I do believe that, you know, these all hold unique energies based off of the crystals alone. And then on top of that, the shape of them is really what's going to enhance that 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 connection or that, that intuition. And you mentioned how people with the, the skulls that they've they have names for yes. these skulls and they have come in here and they've had jamie do, do the aura of the skull yes and it's it's amazing yep you know to see the actual energy yeah. of of what you think is an inanimate object it's, yep. it's not it's alive yeah <laughs> and the energy colors of it which is amazing too i i mean I, I was shocked at watching the video of that at the colors around the crystal skulls and how unique they were yeah um because i and what i find is fascinating is how old some of those crystal skulls actually were and we can't even figure out how they made them yeah. i mean we can come up with ideas yeah because you know and so i think that there's this infinite knowledge that we can tap into and i believe that these are great channels to tap into that. And and another thing is too, it's like, you know, I, I'm just, the more I'm discovering, the more I'm liking, but like with the clear quartz one, that one's, that's the ones that they're coming, they travel around the world and they have these clear quartz skulls that were, um, you know, found in South America and they're being uncovered, um, you know, here and there within the last 200 years, they've been finding these 
crystal skulls. And it falls in line with that Native American belief or the old legend. Um, and so I, I do find it really fascinating because just those people alone, I mean, I remember they, they, them talking about all of this stuff and a lot of it went over my head except for, you know, the, how interesting it was that when the, what they said was, you know, that we're rising in consciousness and the more that we rise in consciousness, the more the crystal skulls are going to come to us. And so, and I really, I really like that. And, you know, we have all different stones. We Wait, have, what's this one? That one is ocean jasper. Wow, it's really calling me. I uh, like that one. Yeah, it's really calling. And and it's like it you can feel like it's from the ocean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel that. And this one is That one's another ocean jasper actually. Yeah. See, it's they're calling me. <laughs> <laughs> we have this beautiful fluorite one. I like this one a lot. If you put it up to the light, I mean, it's just fascinating the color alone. You know, and these are all carved really well. Um, we have pyrite, we have sodalite, we have obsidian um, these are amethyst ones right here this is actually a fluorite but it's it's an interesting color how how deep it is we have moss agate um, we have this is called uh, actually sakura jasper um, so it's supposed to be cherry blossom jasper and so these are kind of interesting too um, this one's my favorite I don't know why I just love clear quartz when it hits a certain clarity and it has all these rainbows inside mm -hmm, of it this it is just I, I love it. Um, I, I really, really love it. Um, we have another one that this is hematoid inside of here. So there's actually metals that are inside of here, which create this red color and which really amplify the stone itself and the stone's like, abilities. Like the color that's in our red rocks. Like, Correct. Yeah. And then we have the alien skulls. And now these alien skulls are very, very popular. I think that we, we sometimes can't keep alien stuff <laughs> off the shelf. And I do, do think that there's a huge connection to crystal skulls and connecting with higher dimensional beings or aliens as we call them. Um, because they, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, especially when we rise in consciousness, we're going to be more open to this idea of, of other beings in this giant universe. This is kind of an elongated skull. Yep. And, and there's something about the Egyptians, you know, because I don't know, I'm just psychically getting that and I don't know what it's yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, these are very interesting. Yeah, so in the Egyptian and uh, some of the Mayan skulls that they've uncovered, the crystal skulls, they're elongated. They're, they're, oh, they are. They're very long, yes. And then they found some other crystal skulls that are not elongated. And so I know like the Mayan ones, they're very like kind of pointy like this. And then the Egyptian ones are just very long. Mm -hmm. So they have different crystal skulls that they found in different places, but they're different sizes and different looks, which, which you know, um, when you get into everything, there's, there's different higher dimensional beings, right? And so, um, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm really liking this. We have information also about crystal skulls right here. And there's just so much more information out there too. I'm just dipping my, I went from the tip of the iceberg into the iceberg, but there's still so much more that I still don't know, and I'm still uncovering more and more. Yeah. So this one's kind of interesting because it's obsidian. Yep. And and it has the crow. Yes. You know, on the top. And then here's another one with a crow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? So. Uh, and then these are all hand carved too. So they do amazing, amazing work. Yeah. I mean, I, I, uh, I couldn't imagine the patience that it went into creating these skulls. It's more of just the patience. It's kind of a mission. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of like when you're really doing a work of art. Yes. You know, you're, you're guided, you know, yeah. and, and well, I can't mention any names whose art is really not a real work of art. <laughs> but, but when it is... A real work of art and it's channeled you know it yeah you know you know it this didn't just come from copying somebody's yes. picture yeah. yeah 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 so anyway well thank you for all your research Tyler and for um, uh, collecting so helping us to collect all these skulls yes yeah <laughs> and and you know and if you would like a skull for yourself uh, you know and and you know kind of visually see from the picture which one you're drawn to like I was drawn to these ocean jaspers and and then we'll send you information about the stone itself yep you know and what we think the skull is about
And if you want to learn more, we can send you some books. And uh, this one is, you said it's opalite. Correct. So that one would be a man-made opal or a lab-created opal. And then it has tiger eye, little eyes in there. Yeah. Anyway, really, really interesting. Okay, great. So if you'd <laughs> like a crystal skull of your own, uh, let us know. Okay? Because, you know, that's what we're doing here. We're trying to raise the consciousness. There's yeah. so much we don't know. There's so much we don't know. We, we study all this stuff and... We study the ancients and Egyptians, and we said, but there's so much we don't know that people before us knew. Yeah. Okay. Tip and, of the iceberg. Yeah, and we <laughs> dumbed it down. Yes. You know. <laughs> and so, uh, so anyway, uh, it's all about exploring and learning. Okay. Have a great week. Thank you.